Are you wasting your gifts and therefore wasting your life, doing the wrong things with your time, not serving as powerfully as you should, stuck, stagnant, and therefore not reaping the results uh, that you could and should, making the impact that you should? Heavy stuff. We're talking about a whole wasted life. So come watch this video with me. We're going to talk and have some ideas of if you're wasting your gift or if you're truly following your gift. And importantly, how to even identify what your gift is. So welcome in fam, much love trap here. Hanging out at the beach. It's a little bit windy, so out of consideration for you, we stepped into this little nice sheltered area over here. Little can have a little walk and talk. So yeah, it's important. So we'll start with the basic idea and then get down to how you can identify what your gifts are. But the idea is we're all here for a reason, to do something, to make an impact, to be the best version of ourselves, but we aren't all great at the same thing. We're good at different things, and it's our job to discover what those talents might be. And you can develop skills and you can do all that, but we have, there's certain archetypes that each of us are that we're meant to serve in certain ways. And you could say, if that's kind of too out there for you, let me just say it this way. Like, there's certain people are good at certain things. Michael Phelps is good at swimming. His body is designed for it. And socially, we're developed in certain ways as well. Humans are meant to specialize in different things. And if you're trying, if you're trying to do something that's naturally difficult for you, you're unlikely to succeed and make a big impact and get rewarded for it. But there are things that may come naturally to you and you have the potential to be top level of those things and you can make a huge impact and you can be rewarded for it as well. So which path do you want to take? And it's not just about the impact and the rewards, but the process and how it feels to be on the correct path. And if you're on the wrong path, you probably know it in your body. There's something doesn't feel right. So, and something could not feel right for a lot of reasons, but let's say it could be something doesn't feel right because you're not following your gifts, right? So that's the importance of why it's so important to follow your gift. You do not follow your gift and you're always gonna be mediocre. You're never gonna make a huge impact and your time on earth is not what it could have been and possibly I would say what it should have been. So. We'll talk about how to identify your gifts and I'm going to talk a little bit about my own experience and then invite you on possible next steps. So how to follow your gifts. The first thing is, is to look at what feels like comes naturally or easy to you. Some people would say like focus on your weaknesses or do things that are difficult and I'm not against challenge. I'm all for challenge, but it's a sign of something is really hard and feels unnatural. And it's also a sign of something is really easy and, and you excel at it naturally. Uh, it's also a matter of time. If you find you're able to spend a lot of time on something easily, it's a sign it might be a gift because even if you have a natural innate talent, it's still going to take time to develop. And if you are have a hard time spending time on something, that's a really bad sign that even if you have some natural uh, inclination towards something that you're not going to have the time to really develop it. So a gift is more than uh, just something that you're naturally good at, but is also an, an interest or a passion or something that uh, you're, you're able to develop and cultivate, right? I'm not saying people are born uh, being concert violinists. Like, they may have something that gives them an edge there, and then you have to take the time to develop it. So first is just think about things that come to you easily and you're able to spend a lot of time on. And then also from there, think about things that you get good feedback on, right? It could be a certain kinds of content get a lot of clicks, or it could be you get noticed, um, or it could be competition you win at something, right? So uh, pay attention to what you get good results at in terms of objective or competitive. And then feedback is really important. What are things that people compliment you on? Maybe you don't get a lot of compliments, but every once in a while you get something right? Um, you, you may get a compliment that, you might get compliments that you're really smart or you're, you're, you're technically gifted. You might get compliments that you make people happy or you're gifted with good with people. 
you might get compliments that you're really disciplined or something. Pay attention to that, right? What is what is a common theme of people? And uh, the feedback can come in terms of critique as well, where people say like, nah, I mean, you're entertaining. I don't think you're that smart, though. Well, it's like, okay, well, I'm getting hate, but I'm also getting... Like, especially if it's critical, if your critics can admit something positive about you, then that can that can really help you. So take a moment to just think back and catalog in your mind the sort of feedback and compliments, um, positive feedback that you've heard from people who know you, people who don't know you, and, and that can be uh, a sign in your gifts. And then let, let me talk, talk to you a little bit about my situation and why I'm here today and why I'm making this video for you and why I'm back and I'm stoked to be back after a couple years of not making content and doing YouTube for like 20 years now and and obviously I look different, I'm more mature, I sound different, I've, I'm, I'm excited to be back in a new form but uh, yeah and I'm here because I realized my gift is with people and one of the ways to serve people is through video and is through content and is through talking to people so I'm back on YouTube and I'm probably going to start doing, working with people one-on-one -on -one again. So if you're interested in, in that, you let me know. Maybe I'll put a, a link up or something. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I think I have a gift there. And I have a gift there because it goes back to, I'm thinking like how it's always easy for me to make friends. Like people will hate on me on the internet, but never in person. Um, how well I'm able to get along with people and be friends with people from all different sorts of walks of life. I'm thinking about how in high school I got a senior year, I was the, uh, the senior yearbook, they voted me most likely to brighten your day. And I'm thinking back to the sort of feedback that I received. People don't tell me that I'm a genius. People don't tell me I'm an amazing singer. People don't tell me, people tell me like, man, I'm able to relate to you and you motivated me, you inspired me. So I'm like, the last couple of years I've been going the wrong way, I think. I haven't been making videos. I've been doing more technical behind the scenes work and I think that's incorrect and that's why I'm, I'm back here with you today and I'm excited to see what might happen from it where um, I realize, yeah, I have a, a gift with people and impacting people and talking to people and there's different ways that I can do that and one of them is take 10 minutes out of my day to do a daily YouTube video. So the daily YouTube video uh, may be back and... I hope I hope that this daily video, let me know if it does, smash the thumbs up. I hope this daily video helps you find your gift and get you back on that right path. If you need more help, can keep watching these videos and um, reach out to me. If I'm, if I'm doing one-on-one -on -one work again, um, uh, we could maybe do something together. And I thought about it. Do I like want to start a group? Do I want to... I like one-on-one -on -one because... Oh man, I have a gift with one-on-one -on -one when I talk to people. Uh, the insights that people have, people will share things with me they won't share with anyone else. I have a skill, I have a gift with people, and I want to I wanna get back at it and I, I want to cultivate it. So I'm really stoked today. I'm really excited to be here with you. I hope that I brightened your day. I hope that I gave you something of value today. If I did, smash the thumbs up, comment down below, let me know. Let me know and let me know what your gift is. What, is, what, do, you think your, what do you think your gift is? What do you think your gift is? Yeah, and I think about, if you've been here with me, depending on how well you know me, an example is like, um, a, you, you could think you have, I'm, I may have misunderstood my gift. So for instance, those of you guys who know my Magic the Gathering career, uh, for instance, I created a deck, a unique deck strategy. It was called Living End and uh, did well in a tournament with it. And I thought like, okay, I have a technical gift here. But what really happened, though, is that I, I took that opportunity from a tournament result to, to uh, um, produce content. And I was able to affect people with my content through my articles, through my videos. I parlayed that. Like, I was a good tournament magic player. I wasn't the best, but I was <laughs> beloved and hated and was, it was so good at getting attention and, and uh, uh, connecting with people. You, um, so there you could think it's one thing, but it's another thing. And um, with the backhanded sort of compliments, there's plenty of compliments I got where like people saying, Travis Wu, I don't think he's the best deck player builder or he's the best player, but 
uh, he's my he's the guy I follow. He's my favorite. He's got he's down to earth. Like I can connect with him. He's relatable. He has. I don't think he's the best player, but I click his articles first. So it's like, okay, let me not take that personally and say, okay, I probably have some sort of a gift here. And it might not be in getting the most views. My gift isn't in optimizing. Yeah, so I'm just getting back to what I think that I'm the best at. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to help you figure out what you're the best at as well. So um, yeah, the channel's gonna go in a number of directions. I'm excited about it. And uh, let's get to it. So much love. Look forward to talking to you soon. Peace.